week six of the fantasy football season, and he has started sit at the quarterback position for every matchup. So the first matchup, the Washington Commanders at the Chicago Bears here on Thursday Night Football. So right now, Carson Wentz, I got him as a start this week. He's had three good games for fantasy and two bad games. So this week here, Thursday Night Football, I think Wentz has another decent ball game. This bad defense middle of the pack. But Wentz, he's getting the ball down the field at times. We've seen him hit Deami Jones in week five in a pretty tough matchup versus Tennessee. And he finished that ball game with 30 plus fantasy points is Carson Wentz. So right here, a good matchup on Thursday Night Football. This running game is pretty much non-existent over there in Washington. And if they're trailing in this game once again like they have the first few weeks of the season, he's going to throw the football lots. And obviously with we'll bye weeks and injuries with quarterbacks underperforming, I got Wentz in 12-team leagues or deeper as a start. Justin Fields on the Bears side of things, I got him as a sit this week. I know Fields had a good ball game finally with 20 fantasy points for the Bears. But right now, he's been inconsistent all season in his fields. This is a decent matchup on paper, and I know I recommended him as a waiver wire pickup. But right here, that's only in the deepest of leagues. But 12-team leagues or less, there's no way you're going to start Justin Fields unless, obviously, you're desperate You're desperate for a starting quarterback this week and need a guy in a pinch. But right here, I don't think Justin Fields is the answer. So I got him as a sit this week as a sleeper option, maybe. But no way, as a guy, I would start this week at the quarterback position. Now on to the next ball game of the week here. We got the Minnesota Vikings at the Miami Dolphins. So right now, Kirk Cousins, he's a start each and every week. When you got a number one wide receiver, obviously, like a Justin Jefferson and Salva guys like Adam Dillon and Irv Smith Jr. and good running backs in Cook and Madison, you're going to put up fantasy points. I know this Miami defense has been pretty decent this season, but now with the problem at quarterback here and getting off the field a lot is this Miami offense. This defense is taking a hit, getting tired out. And Kirk Cousins, he's definitely a quarterback. I'm starting this week with the good weapons and a good matchup, and it's going to be great weather, most likely in Miami. Now on the Miami side of things, I don't got Tua listed on this here, but even if Tua comes back, he's not a quarterback I'm going to trust, and I don't see him coming back. He's probably out for the season, if I would have to guess here with Tua. Teddy Bridgewater, we saw him leave the game versus the Jets with the elbow injury and the head injury, and he's a guy, even if he comes back from his injury, I'm not going to trust. And then Skyler Thompson coming in relief in that ball game after Bridgewater left early in the first quarter. And you can't trust him. He's a seventh rounder. He's going to turn the ball over. He probably don't have a grasp for the whole playbook. And the Dolphins right now, they're in big trouble. If they're starting the season 3-0 and and at the quarterback position, now they're going through guys left and right with injuries. And that's been a problem the last few years for this Dolphin, for many seasons here with this Dolphin team. Finding a quarterback that could be a franchise guy and a guy that's going to be solid. And right now, this week here, you cannot trust any of these Dolphin quarterbacks one way or the other. Now on to the next ball game, New England Patriots and the Cleveland Browns. So right now, I don't like any of the quarterbacks in this game. Even if Mac Jones returns, they don't have a lot of weapons. And this Patriot team, we know that they're built on running the football and defense. And that's exactly what they did in Week 5 versus the Lions winning that ball game. So Mac Jones, if he returns... I don't like him, but who knows if he's going to return. And Bailey Zappi, he's a game manager, and we saw it, and he's good at that. We know he's a rookie as well. But like I said, not a lot of vertical options. They got, I know, Jacoby Myers had a good game, Devontae Parker, and Hunter Henry at tight end, but it's not enough weapons for a good fantasy day. So Jones and Zappa benches, and Jacoby Brissetti has been playing pretty decent this season. Amari Cooper and David Njoku have been good weapons for him, and mixing in... Kareem Hunt out of the backfield a little, but even in this matchup versus one of his former teams, a team that Bill Belichick knows Jacoby Brissett, his tendencies himself. I just can't trust him. And this New England Patriot defense, they're getting healthy. They're getting to the football, and they're starting to make plays. So right now, in this game with the Pats at the Browns and the Dog Pound, I don't like any of the quarterbacks in this one. Now to the Bucks at the Pittsburgh Steelers. So Tom Brady, he's getting things going. He's stretching the field. His wide receivers are getting healthy, obviously. And he looked good once again the last two weeks in week four and week five. So this deal with defense, I know they can make a few plays, but you just can't trust them to stop Tom Brady. So he's an easy start this week. And now the rookie, Kenny Pickett, he took some big hits in that ball game versus Buffalo. But he's a tough kid, no doubt about it. But that's not going to mean I'm going to have him as a start option. So right now, if you want to get him on your roster and stash him, that's fine, but this week here, there's no way you're going to play him. If you got to play Kenny Pickett, your team's obviously in trouble, but he's an easy sit this week at quarterback. Now to the San Francisco 49ers and the Atlanta Falcons. So right now, Jimmy Garoppolo, I know his stats haven't been great, but this 9 team, 
They just know how to win football games with Jimmy G. He's a good game manager. And when you need plays to be made, he makes them. So right now, George Kittle looked good in week five. Debo, I know he didn't do much in that game. But right here in an indoor ball game in Atlanta, I think they all have good ball games. And Jimmy Garoppolo, as a decent starting option in deeper leagues or two quarterback leagues, is definitely a guy who would start this week. I could see him have anywhere from 18 to 20 fantasy points. And I pencil him in as a start. Now Marcus Mariota, he's a sit this week here. The first few weeks of the season, no doubt Mac Marcus Mariota looked good. But now Kyle Pitts is banged up. He's been out even though he hasn't done much so far this season. Drake won, then he got nicked up a little in that ball game. But right here, I just can't trust Marcus Mariota. After the last few weeks, we've seen nothing from him. So he's an easy sit this week. Now on to the Bengals and the New Orleans Saints. So Joe Burrow, he's a start each and every week. Now, I know T. Higgins once again left the ball game and got hurt, but they weren't that concerned about it in Cincinnati. But they got to get back on track. They got to protect Burrow better. And I think in this ball game, after we saw Geno Smith go off at the Saint defense, Joe Burrow could get things going, and Jamar Chase has to get things going as well. So I got him as a start this week here, Burrow. Now on the Saint side of things, I'm sitting everybody in this one. Jameis Winston. Bad back injury, might return this game, who knows, but you can't trust them. I know the Spangled defense ain't that great, but they still could pick apart some offenses. We saw with the Jets, and I think they played pretty decent versus the Ravens. So we're right here, Winston, if he returns, he's a sit. And Andy Dalton's a sit as well. At this point of his career, he's a game manager and a guy who could go out there and make a few plays, but he's not fantasy relevant. And Taysom Hill, I just think it was a fluky ball game. He's not going to score 36 fantasy points. Again, just running the football every time. So right here in this one, they roll sits to me. Now onto the Ravens and the Giants. Lamar Jackson, we know he's an MVP candidate. And we know he's going to come out and have a big ball game, I believe, versus the Giants. I know the Giants are 4-1, but it's a little fluky. And I think Lamar has a big ball game in this one. And he's a definite start. Now for the Giants, there's no way you could trust Daniel Jones. I know they're 4-1. But this team somehow is 4-1 with no weapons on the outside making place. I think this giant team, it's beginning's luck this season, new coaching staff and all, but it's going to start kicking in sooner than later when you don't have offensive weapons besides the Saquon Barkley that you're not going to win ball games and put up fantasy numbers. And Daniel Jones really hasn't put up numbers anyway this season. And he's an easy sit now to the Jets and the Packers. Zach Wilson, he's been playing better so far this season than he did the last. He came back in week four and the Jets are 2-0 with him, but they versed a weak Pittsburgh Steelers team, and they beat a Miami team decimated. So right here, you know, the Packers aren't happy after blowing that ball game in London. They're back in Lambeau Field, and I just can't picture Zach Wilson really having a big fantasy day, and he hasn't anyway the last couple weeks here. So I know I recommended him as an ad, but that's in deeper leagues. But in 12-team leagues or less, he's a sit this week, even though he's had good weapons this year, and Wilson, Brees, all and Davis emerging this year. Now to the Packers side of thing. Aaron Rodgers, he's not putting up MVP numbers this season, but he's still been a pretty solid quarterback. 20 points a week he's averaging pretty much is Aaron Rodgers. So right here, you know he's not going to be happy. He's growing a better rapport with his wide receivers. Romeo Dobbs, Alan Lazard, all reliable Randall Cobb's been stepping up. And right here, easily, I got Rodgers as a start this week with the buys and injuries. Now on to the Jaguars and the Indianapolis Colts. So this could be another sloppy game with the Colts involved and the Jaguars. We saw it on Thursday night football between the Denver Broncos and the Indianapolis Colts. And this week here, I think this is another slop fest. Trevor Lawrence, I got him as a borderline start this week here. He's not a guy I have confidence in after the last two weeks not doing anything for fantasy owners. And you thought in a plus matchup, Lawrence would do something, but he didn't versus Houston in week five. So I can't trust him right now. He had a good three weeks of the season, but the last two hasn't done much. So he's borderline for me. I'm at Ryan. I know Alec Pierce is emerging. Michael Pittman, though, hasn't done anything. And even Jonathan Taylor, if he comes back in this game, he's been a letdown so far this season. So Matt Ryan, you can't trust him. He's not putting up fantasy numbers besides one ball game this season. And he's an easy sit. Now on to the Arizona Cardinals at the Seahawks. So right here, I got both quarterbacks as a start this week. Kyle Murray, I know the numbers haven't been all that great, but he's a guy you start each and every week with his running ability. And with just a lot of garbage time we've seen this season here from Kyle Murray. Or games where the Cardinals get off to a slow start and got to throw the football all the time and if James Conner is out in this ball game it's even better for Murray they're gonna throw more and Eno Benjamin a good receiver out of the backfield so right here Murray a start and Geno Smith he's been lighting it up the last three weeks of the season here with 25 or more fantasy points in those ball games so right here he's got two good weapons in DK Metcalf and Tyler Lockett 
And the running game's been good. Rashad Penny's look good, even though he went down with injury. But Kenneth Walker, I think, can manage and carry the load as well. So right now, believe it or not, Geno Smith right now, top 10 in fantasy points at the quarterback position. And I got him a start here for week six. Now into the Panthers and the Rams right here. Baker Mayfield, he's been bad. And I think the Baker experiment's over. I'm just going to label him as a bust. I know he had a good couple first years with Cleveland, but now going to Carolina, he can't get anyone involved. No one's doing anything in that lineup. And he's an easy sit this week. If you got to rely on him, your season might as well be over in fantasy. Now on to the Rams side of things. Matthew Stafford, he hasn't looked good, but it's not all his fault. The offensive line has definitely been an issue, and his running backs aren't doing anything. It's pretty much Cooper Cup and Tyler Higby. Allen Robinson, he's not getting separation. He's not getting open. And believe it or not, they're missing Odell Beckham, who was a big part of this team. But obviously, we'll see where he signs in the next couple months here. But anyway, this matchup, I think he could get things going in Stafford. And with bye weeks kicking in, I think he'll just make it in the top 12 this week. So I got him as a start. But obviously, if you have better options, you're not starting Stafford. Now on to a ball game and the game of the week, I believe it will be. The Buffalo Bills at the Kansas City Chiefs, a rematch of that crazy AFC Championship ball game last season. So right here... Both quarterbacks are studs. Both quarterbacks, they've been circling this ball game on the calendar. No doubt about it in my mind here. And Josh Allen's a stud. We know he's a quarterback that many fantasy owners drafted as their number one quarterback off the board in their leagues this season. So he's a start having another monster season with three ball games or more, 35 or more fantasy points. And Patrick Mahomes, he just gets the job done no matter who he has as his weapons. And he's a start. We're going to see a monster shootout. We're going to see a great ball game. And these guys are going to have monster points this week. Now to the Cowboys and Eagles. What a division matchup as well in this one on Sunday Night Football. But right here, Cooper Rush, great game manager. Good accuracy. Cowboy team playing great on the rim, but he's a sit. And if Dak Prescott comes back in this one, I'm not trusting him versus a tough Eagle front. And who knows if he could grip the football. It's probably going to be windy and cold. And I just don't want any part of Dak Prescott. You got this far into the fantasy season here without him as your fantasy quarterback. So right here, even if he returns this week, he's a sit for me as Dak Prescott. And Jalen Hurts, tough matchup versus Micah Parsons and this vicious Dallas Cowboy defensive line. But he's been a stud so far this season. Even in a tough matchup, I trust Hurts as a start. I'm not saying he's going to go out there and put up the numbers he's been putting up. But this week here, you can't shy away from Jalen Hurts with a lot of bad quarterbacks this season in fantasy. So he's a guy I got to start it this week. And now on to the Monday Night Football game. The Denver Broncos at the Los Angeles Chargers. So Russell Wilson, we know he's banged up with a lat and shoulder injury. And he's getting injections. But he just hasn't looked good in this offense. He's missing a lot of throws. And obviously, the injury definitely is playing a part. But right now, no excuses here for fantasy owners to start this guy. He's a sit. He's had two good ball games, week one and week four. But you can't just trust him, especially with this injury news out and with the hits he's been taking. Even though I know this Charger defense hasn't been playing great, but still, he's a sit for me. And now to the Chargers, Justin Herbert, he's a start. I know Keenan Allen being out is definitely hasn't helped them the last few weeks here but Herbert's still a top five quarterback in my opinion even in a pretty tough matchup on Monday Night Football versus division rival the Denver Broncos I think Herbert has another good ball game and he's a guy you fire up each every, every week in your lineup so that's the week six quarterback starter sits here for every matchup of this week of the fantasy football season